know Billy Mays? <laughs> of course you do. We talked about him last week. But do you know Vince Offer? Maybe you'd recognize him more as the ShamWow guy. Today, let's dive into the world of the second most famous infomercial guy. Who is Vince Offer? You know, he's the guy that tried to convince us that a towel would change our lives. Hi, it's Vince with ShamWow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. 50% of the cola right there. You follow me, camera guy? ShamWow, you'll be saying wow every time. Yep, that's him. The sham wow guy. With that hair and the smirk that just screams, I'm selling you a dream. But we both know it's just a towel. I don't know, it sells itself. Vince's style was like watching a stand-up comic wander his way into a sales job. Is it gonna be slapping your troubles away with a slap chop? You love salad, you hate making it. That's why you don't have any salad in your diet. Watch this, one slap, salad. He had this way of making you wonder, is this a product demo? or a comedy sketch. You can't clean it. You can't open this up. It's worthless. Forget about it. Now, take the slap chop. From the sham wow to the slap chop, Vince wasn't just selling you a product. He was selling you tickets to a one-man show. Fettuccine, linguine, martini, bikini. Look at that, comes with two blades, just bang it. Remember when Vince told us that the sham wow could hold 20 times its weight in liquid? Sham wow holds 20 times its weight in liquid. Look at this, it just does the work. Vince made it sound like if the Titanic had some sham wows, it would have had a fighting chance. And let's not forget the infamous slap chop spiel. Hi, it's Vince with slap chop. Guys, we're gonna make America skinny again. One slap at a time. You could hear the collective American family room groans with each you're gonna love my nuts joke. You're gonna love my nuts. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Vince Offer and Billy Mays. Billy was like the Shakespeare of infomercials. And Vince, well, he was just Vince. Billy's pitches were like a thunderstorm of charisma, and Vince's felt more like a drizzle of desperation. He was there to promote himself, not the product. It's like comparing a gourmet meal to fast food. Both will fill you up, but only one leaves you satisfied. Vince's impact on the world of infomercials? Well, he certainly made a splash, like the sham wow in a kiddie pool. Sham wow. He brought humor, albeit sometimes cringeworthy, to the world of late night infomercials. His approach was unique. I'll give him that. Turning mundane products into weirdly compelling TV moments. The family's reaction to Vince? It's like watching a car crash. You just can't look away. Memes, parodies, remixes. Vince became an unintentional comedic star. Vince's legacy was like a mixed bag of infomercial goodies. Some hits, some misses, and a lot of what the heck was that moments. Unlike Billy Mays, who was the king of infomercials, Vince was more like a court jester. Entertaining? Sure. But you wouldn't necessarily trust him with your Zorbies. Billy Mays here with Zorbies! So there you have it. Vince Offer, or the ShamWow guy, in all of his glory, I guess. Thank you guys for joining me on this week's episode of Takani Talks About Random Things because that's what she wants to do. <laughs> Don't forget that the world is better with you in it. I will see you next time I post here on YouTube. <laughs> Bye guys!